Hi, you guys. I hope everybody is good today. It has been a minute since I've been on. Um, today is December 14th of 2022. And um, I am just so grateful to be on with you guys today. Um, I have a few words that I'm going to share with you today. I have one that's very, very old. And, um, well, two of them. One of them I've released already and one of them I have not. The Lord has just really been bringing up these words to me. Um, recently and saying he wants me to to release them again or like to to re to go over them again um to bring them fresh in our memories because we are kind of in that in the time frame of when um these prophetic words are going to be coming to pass and so he just wants them to kind of be fresh just a refresher basically and so um so there's one that I'm going to go over today and um I'm going to share this again um because I heard a word yesterday from um, from Apostle Liberty Turnip Speed on, with Spirit Move Ministries, she gave a word. It's pretty similar to this. I mean, kind of. It's 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 similar, and so it's kind of like a confirmation to this word that I had released back in. I mean, I already released it back in in um, May, and so I received this word on May second twenty or yeah May second twenty twenty two, and it's it's already it's it's back in like may like probably mid-may or early may when i released it so if you want to go back in the videos you can listen to it um if you'd like but but i'm gonna just read it again because we're kind of in that we're in that time and um and um the lord just yeah he wants me to share it i just feel in my spirit i need to go over it again um, this specific word, especially after hearing liberties, it's just a confirmation and we are in this time frame. So, um, let me pray and then I'll get started with these words. Heavenly father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, father. I thank you for all you're doing in the earth today. I thank you Father, that your glory is about to pour out on this earth like never before. I thank you, Father God, that you have your children in the palm of your hands and that um, that you are fighting for us, that the, that the battle has already been won, that you are fighting our battles, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just, we thank you that the victory is, is, is ours in every single situation in our lives. We have the victory over it all. And um, we just praise you and we thank you and honor you and glorify your holy name. And um, I just plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and um, and just ask for your peace and your mercy and your grace and your love and your protection over us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. So, um, like I said, this word is a refresher word and I got this on 5, 2, 2022. And this is what he says. Glory, glory, glory. All glory is mine. saith the Lord, get ready for a changing of the guard. Get ready for a changing of the guard <clears throat> my children, sorry, moves are about to be made. My moves, which no man or devil in hell can stop. The love for my children is so great. And I have had enough. To the enemies of the most high God, prepare for your demise. For it is coming quick. I tell you, repent and turn to me while there is still time. The window of opportunity to determine your destiny and eternity is closing. I am a loving God and wish no one to perish and go to the pit I have created for Satan and his fallen friends. So turn to me, those of you which have denied me of blessing you with eternity with me. To my darling children who have who are hard at work for my kingdom, I am going to reward you in a way you never thought possible. Your faithfulness and persistence through all this darkness around you has touched the throne of God. Get ready to receive blessing after blessing. My children will overflow with my peace, joy, grace, mercy, and my protection. My glory is approaching. It will be a glory bomb that hits your earth. Be prepared, children, for this bomb of glory as it sorry as it will do exactly how it sounds it will blow up some things that need to be destroyed by me this bomb of glory my dear children will fill you full of my love as for those who do not know me or love me it will be a wake-up call that has never been seen or felt to this degree trust me this glory bomb of mine to all people of this earth all walks of life will know it is me the creator of heaven and earth saith the lord so I tell you now, my 
my children, get ready and do not fear. Know that I am coming with my glory for you to set you free from the slavery and bondage that they have had you in for a time that you have not known. I am so great and powerful, full of mercy and love, and each one, each person in this land will know that it is I that's doing this. My enemies, your enemies' children, will regret what they have done to you. I will handle them once and for all. I love you, my children, and I am coming to deliver you. Hold on, it's not too far off now. I'm putting everything in place and tying up loose ends before I can move. I know you are tired and weary. I see your tears and I hear you crying out and have and you have no idea how much it hurts my heart. So hang on just a little bit longer. I promise you children, I'm coming with my glory and how lovely it will be. Remember that this will set you free. Just like in Exodus, I set my people free. I will do even greater things this time. It will be so great. Oh, my children, rejoice with me. Don't wait to rejoice. Do it now, for I tell you it comes sooner than you think. Nothing has ever been seen like this before. I keep telling you this, so you will be ready for it. Be ready for your father to set you free from the trap they have kept you in. This snare of lies and deception. You have no idea the depth of deception that is going on. It runs so deep, too deep. It's gone too far and it's time for me, the great I am, to show them how I will not allow them to hold you captive and enslaved any longer. You children of the Most High are about to dance in the streets. Celebrations all over this earth are about to burst out everywhere. How glorious it will be. Just hold on. Oh, how excited I am, my precious children. Get excited with me. Don't fear anything. I have you covered. Trust me. Stay in my word. It will refresh you and strengthen you. Everything you need is in my written word. Speak it. Declare it over your lives. Continue to pray fast. Seek my face, children. Worship me. Praise me at all times. You will always find rest when you praise me. I tell you again, my beautiful children, I love you with an unending love and I'm coming with my glory in hand. My glory bomb is approaching quickly. Be expecting amazing things to happen, says the Lord. Says the Lord, amen and amen. And um, I got Isaiah 40, 26 through 31 um, with that. And I'm just gonna let you guys go read these scriptures I'll put them in the description box so Isaiah 40 26 through 31 is what I got for that word and then I got this word um, on 5 3 I got this word this is a new word that I haven't released yet um, I got it the day after this one so it's on 5 3 but I have not released this one I did release this this the last one um, at 7 35 a.m. and um, the Lord says, and I'm not going to go over these words. I'm just going to read them and um, I'm not going to go over them. I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit, you guys go to the Lord and talk to the Holy, you know, go to the Holy Spirit, go, go, go to the father, ask him um, whatever, you know, if you have questions, talk to the father about it. They're not my words. They're his words. So take it to him. Um, <laughs> just take it to him because usually I'll try to go over the words and, you know, but um, I have several, so I just don't want to do that for time's sake. And I, plus, you know, I don't know what, I know that he's coming with his glory and that's all I know. I know what he says, what he's telling me, he's telling you, and that's all I know. I don't know anything deeper. <laughs> so I just, we just got to stay in his word. And, you know, I'm not a teacher. I've said that a thousand times, almost in every video, maybe not every video, but I'm not a teacher. I just receive the words and I release the words and it's our job just to go and pray on it and ask, ask the father for, um, discernment and clarification and, and whatever. And, and of course getting his word and there's always answers in the word of God. So, um, on five, three, 2022, um, this one's a little bit different and he says, get ready to rumble. The shaking has already begun. Just wait, though, children. The rumblings will intensify in the coming days and weeks. I, I am says, let me tell you how the rumble will go. First, the White House will shake and jumble all their plans. Hallelujah. We've all been waiting for that. They will be scatterbrained, not knowing what just happened. Tell them, daughter, they can't hide from me. I am finished. They are finished. Be encouraged, my children, and know their time has come to an end. Rejoice and get ready 
for celebrating is in order. It's coming much sooner than you think, my children. Continue to stand strong and fight. You know the victory is yours and the battle has already been won. I hear you asking when God win. I promise, I promise you children, it is here. It's happening now. You just can't see it. I am moving behind the scenes for you children. Freedom is coming to you, my children. Hang on. Don't give up. For I, the Lord your God, is settling the score. Stay in prayer and fast, my children. Praise me and worship my holy name. I love you and have you in the palm of my hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory to God. Um, praise the Lord. And so, um, oh, and I got on that one, I got... Uh, Isaiah fifty four seventeen for that uh, word, and then I'm going to read. Also, really quickly, I did have, I had a um, I want to share a quick vision. I had a vision, um, on twelve four twenty twenty two, and it was just a real quick, short vision, and it was I was in the glory, and the Lord's. Um, I just saw I saw a train, an old train going by and um it was just an old train like old old train like a coal train and um and there was just all these cars and there was it just and the, the lord said the train is coming do you see it because i was like what's that you know what's this what's this all about and he said the train is coming do you see it and he says the cargo is full of my glory it will it shall stop by every city state and in every nation and that's what he said so there's the glory train that is coming through every city state and every nation not just the united states of america where i am but in every single nation all over the globe the glory is on its way so hallelujah praise god for that vision that i had had that was on 12 4 and then um, on 12 8, 2022 at 12 52 p.m., I got this word. And he says, My children, for today I'm telling you to rise up, take your stand, and do not quit. I don't care how it looks. And so you don't care how it looks. You keep your eyes on me and what I am telling you. Everything you see in front of you is all a lie. Every part of it is a lie. Do not fall, for it says the Lord. I am telling you, my children, not to look to the things in this world as everything before you now will be no more. I have told you time and time again that everything is about to change. Everything must change, that's in bold, in order for you to be set free and to open the door for the revival, for, for the arrival of my powerful glory on this earth. The time is approaching very quickly that all will know that I am the Lord God and I have the final say over all things. I have the last word regardless of how big they think they are. Nothing or no one can outsmart me. Ha ha. Yes, my children, as I sit, as they sit in their meetings, frantically trying to figure out how their next moves. Let me start over. Yes, my children, as they sit in their meetings, frantically trying how to how to figure out their next moves, I am sitting, watching, listening, and laughing at every word spoken. I love it. Says the Lord. My children, if you could only be a fly on the wall, you would be laughing too. He's got the most amazing sense of humor. Come on, you guys. He's this this is God. <laughs> this is why I keep telling you to not focus on what you see around you. Even your enemies know that even their last and final moves that they are about to make will end in failure. Yes, another failed attempt of trying to take down the children of Almighty God. They know they have lost and can do nothing about it, although they will continue to try. This next move they make will be their last, and they know it. So hang on to me as they move forward in their last-ditch effort to destroy my free nation and many others with it. My children, regardless of how everything is about to look, you remember and never forget who I am. And that's in bold. I am the I am. 
Yes, I am. So do not look at what's in front of you or behind you or even beside you. You look at me. I am your savior. I am your deliverer. I am your healer. I am your hope. I am your peace. I am your strength. I am your freedom. I am your victory. I am almighty God and I am all you need, says the Lord. I do hold the whole world in my hands. I hold you, my children, in the palm of my hand. So continue to trust me in all that I am doing. You are about to see me move as your adversary overplays his hand once again. I will strike just once and you shall see all that I have been telling you. My glory is about to be poured out all over this world like never before. So get ready for it. Get ready for me. Get ready to sing and dance like never before. Rejoice, my children. Rejoice, says the Lord your God, maker of heaven and earth. Amen and amen. And so those are the words that I have for you today. Um, also, I wanted to share really quick. There was another day that I was... Um, that I was uh, just the Lord had, I was in my room and and here's the thing, even if I haven't been able to, I, I've been, the Lord has is, is just been showing me who he is and his love um, for me and just because I've been kind of going through it, you know, with being able to spend time with him. He knows my heart. My heart is just always, I'm always wanting to spend time with him. I mean, if I could spend all day, every day, like all day and not have any responsibilities and not, <laughs> and not do life, and just spend it in the glory, I would. And he knows this, you know, but that's not life. You can't do that. You know, there has to be balance, you know, and there has to be, you have, you have business, you got things you got to do and take care of, you have life, you know, but, um, anyway, so life has been happening and it's just been, you know, the enemy has been literally, there's been problems with the glory girl, just one thing after another, after another. So I've been, you know, helping my husband with that. Um, and like literally we got locked in the coach the other day, like locked in like locked in and if he didn't have his tools inside or if I was there and he wasn't there and he was, we wouldn't have been able to fix it. Like we would have had to break a window and it was bad, but thank God my husband is electrician alignment and he know, knew exactly what the, the guy at the manufacturer told him how to fix it and what to do. <laughs> Otherwise it would have been bad, but these are the things that, you know, just left and right over and over, you know, it's just crazy stuff that uh, like right now we have no hot water. We're waiting for a part so we can fix that tomorrow. So it's just been one thing after another. And I've been kind of down in the dumps, you know, literally. Like, I'm just like, come on. Is there any kind of, you know? And so, but at night I go in there. I mean, I'm praying all day in the spirit. I'm constantly praying. So regardless of what's going on, even if, you know, even if I'm getting frustrated or whatever, I'm just like, okay, no, you know, no, I'm not going to let the enemy steal my joy. You know, I'm just not going to let it happen. But, um, but still, it's just been, you know, a little frustrating. And so, and then of course my husband's getting irritated. And so then, you know, I have to deal with his, his irritations and all that stuff, you know, whatever it's life, you know, it's life. And so, but the Lord, you know, cause I've been like, feel like I've been neglecting God. Like, you know, you guys know me, I'm real with you guys. I tell you what I'm going through and there's a reason, well, you know, and, and, and I share with you because maybe it'll help some of you. I mean, that's the only reason why the Lord tells me to share these things. I wouldn't just be going and sharing, you know, all these things just because, because I just know that it'll, it, maybe it'll help somebody, even if it's just one person. But so I've been feeling like I've been neglecting the Lord, you know, because I haven't been able to spend that quality time with him. And, and the enemy's like, you know, um, you're not spending enough time with God and da, 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 da. And, you know, um, so it's condemnation that's been coming at me, not conviction because the Lord sees my heart and that's what he keeps telling me every time I go and I repent I'm like I repent Lord and I've asked for forgiveness for not spending enough time with you and he's like what are you repenting for like I see your heart like when I get in the glory and I start to, and I do have to spend that time with them and he he's you know feel it but he's filling me up he's pouring out his, out his glory on me like I've never felt in my life in my life during this time over the last couple weeks like I literally I go in my room and I just lift up my hands and I praise him, especially in the evenings after dinner and I'm getting my jam jams on, you know, and I just go in there and I just, I just praise him. I spend like 15, 20 minutes. My husband knows he's like, you're going to get jam jams. I'm like, yep. And about 15, 20 minutes with the Lord. And he's like, okay, <laughs> so he knows don't bother me for 15, 20 minutes after dinner. And so, um, 
but the Lord's just been filling me up like to where I can't even stand and my I'm shaking and I'm just I'm full of the glory right and so he the other night he told me he said um because I hadn't felt this glory like this not like this before like it was just so powerful it was so weighty and I literally was shaking my whole body was convulsing and like I, my I was just I was like okay whoa this is amazing, Lord. And that's so why I told him, I was like, whoa. And so then he, then he kind of laid me down, you know, and I was in the glory and he told me, he said, I am almighty. I am all powerful. And he said, there's a process for everything. I'm taking you and the children of God and the whole earth through a process. And he's like, do you think like you can feel what, who I, you know, cause this, that's his presence. The glory is his presence. And so he's like, you can feel me and you know how powerful and mighty and, and what I can do, you know what I mean? Cause I was like, whoa, like what do you just did to me? You know, and my body and just, you know, he was there and he said, do you think that I can't just destroy any, you know, I, I can't, you know, like he could just flick anybody with the, like he can do whatever he's God. But he says, you have to trust me in this process that I'm taking you through. Like the world, like all of us, you know, like our enemies, he could wipe them out in a second, you know, just like he did in, in Exodus, but he could do it like right now, wherever they stand, wherever they sit, wherever they, wherever they are, he could just literally boom, you're done. But no, cause he's doing it his way. And so we have to trust him in whatever he's doing. He's doing it his way. And we have to trust him, period. And so that's basically the, the word that he um, told me that day uh, when I was in the glory. He's like, trust me in, in everything and trust that I have you covered. I, If you can feel me in my presence and ev all this glory that's on you right now, tell my children this glory is weighty. It is weighty. I mean, it is powerful. It is amazing. And still, it's just nothing compared to what I believe is going to be part of the glory that's coming. It's anyway, we just have to trust God. And like, no matter what I've been going through, it's just like, and we're all going through something. I mean, everybody I know right now, everybody I know is going through something. And that was another thing the Lord said to me when I was just a few days ago as well. And here he is. He's so, he's so wonderful. Here I am going through, you know, you know, going through crud, right? And, you know, just stuff. But he's just always, he's just pouring out his glory, talking to me. Just, you know, I, I, even if I get five minutes to go in and, and, and to get away from my husband and get away from the work and get away from all that's going on. And I'm just like, oh, Father God, talk to me. I need to hear you, Holy Spirit. I need to hear you right now. I need to hear you. And there he is. I'm like, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, talk to me right now. I need to hear something, you know, because I'm about to pull my hair out. I'm just real with you guys, <laughs> you know? And so, you know, when things are breaking all around you and stuff's happening and, and, you know, and this doesn't, this, this, I'm telling you, this doesn't happen. This is not normal. Like we haven't had this many problems with the, with, with the bus and ever. <laughs> and so ever not not all at once like this it's just it's insane it's it's crazy stupid but um and it's it's the enemy just it's the enemy um i know i know his tricks and that's why i'm just like nope you're not taking my joy because i know what you're trying to do and i i know his tactics i'm learning that this is all a, it's you know so no he's not gonna win but um but anyway just just know oh this is what i was gonna tell you the lord told me he said, you have to remember you're at war. You're in the biggest battle of your life. And that's for all of us. That's the whole world. Not just me. It is the whole world. We are in the biggest battle of our lifetime. We are at a, in a war that has never been raged. Is that the right word? Raged? Waged? Waged? I don't know, but you know what I mean. <laughs> We're in a war. And like never before. And we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. And we have to fight. That's what he told me. You have to fight. You have to fight. Because he is, the, the enemy is trying to come and steal everything that I've called you to do. He's trying to distract me from 
hearing the word of the Lord, from releasing the word of the Lord, from doing what God's called me to do, um, with, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to get me totally distracted and off of what, you know, it's just insane. And the Lord said, no, you got to fight. He's trying to steal my peace, my joy, everything. And he's trying to steal yours too. So just, we have to fight and we have to know that God is in control. 100%. 100%. He holds the whole world in his hands. That's what he said. He says, I'm holding you in the palm of my hand. He says, I hold the whole world in my hands. And, I'm, and I hold you, my children, in the palm of my hand. We are in the palm of his hand. Just like we're in the palm of his hand. And so regardless of what is going on around us, he said, don't look in front of you. Don't even look behind you. Don't look on the sides of you. Don't just look at me. He's saying, look at me. And so, um, I'm going to start really just looking at him <laughs> and not looking at all the things that, that are around me. It's like, I hear these words, you guys, but then I forget about them because I, I, I read it right after and I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. That's awesome. Like, praise you, Jesus, praise you, Lord. And then I forget until, and, and then I get fired up once I read it again. You know, it's like days later, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, cause I totally forget. Cause it's not, I literally do. I forget. And maybe that's why he chose me to do this kind this, this, you know, what, what he's called me to do. I don't know. Cause I forget, like I just, you know, so I know it's not me, you know, like when, when I, when I get words, I knew that right away. Cause I can't write. I never was able to write. I can't write anything. I shoot the boot. <laughs> I'm not a writer. I can't even write a card by myself. I sit there for like an hour trying to write a card to, to family. You know, I'm just like, what do I say? <laughs> so I just, oh my goodness. Sorry. I shouldn't tell you guys that, but whatever. I'm just me. God says, be you. I'm me. And that's it. I'm not, I'm not trying to be all professional and trying to be, you know, I'm just Emily. And that's who he told me to be. He said, I called you to, to, to do this. You go on that. You go on YouTube and you be you, Emily, and you be who I, who, who I created you to be. And I'm me and I can't change that for nobody. And I don't want to, and I will never. So hold your comments. If you think I talk too much, or if you don't like how I deliver the word, just hold your comments because I'm not going to change for you or for anybody. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to end this video and I love you all so much. I miss you guys that I haven't been able to come on as often. And, um, I'm going to do better because the Lord told me, you know, um, what, what's up. And so, um, I just, I have another word that I actually, for the first time, see, I'm telling you the glory is being poured out because the other day I was in the glory with him and he said, he said, grab your phone. So I went and I grabbed my phone and then literally he said, record. And so I prophesied on my phone and, and recorded it. And so I haven't transcribed it yet, but that's the first time that's ever happened, you know? And so God is doing amazing things, amazing, amazing things in his children. And so just, he said, be expectant and he moves with faith. So get your faith up, faith that'll move mountains, you know? faith that'll move mountains. And so I think that's Mark seven or Matthew seven or, or something like that. But like I said, I'm not a teacher, but anyway, I love you guys. God loves you. Jesus loves you so much and just be encouraged and just know, you know, no matter what, no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And say that all day, every day, if you have to, that's what I've been doing all day. I'm just like, no, no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. And so just quote the word of God. We have to quote the word of God, the scripture. That is the sword of the spirit. And and I'm preaching to myself right now. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Have a blessed day. And I hope I'm back very soon. Bye.